evening all so welcome everyone to episode 17 bang another one out oh, fuck me so, good old Australia a gift that keeps giving so we're gonna go to Brisbane Yeah, so just in here, Morton Bay, Brisbane. So this is Brisbane, Morton Island. So these attacks happened just off here. So just bang some statistics out. So we looked at some attacks before. I think the first attack was an attack in Australia, New South Wales, just off the Gold Coast. But it's this one off Brisbane here. Yeah, sort of. I mean, the attacks in Australia date back. Yeah, 1791. Last one was 2021. So people were still being attacked. Um, great white shark fatalities. Yeah, 454 documented. So in in Queensland, where this attack was, uh, Brisbane, there's been 70 fatal fatalities by great white sharks. So this this is a, an interesting attack because involved three people yeah and it happened um 1977 march 12th yeah quarter past five in the afternoon and it, it was actually uh, a little bit different cause this was a sea disaster and that stroke fishing so and the, the these three guys verdon harrison john hayes victor beaver different ages 32 45 74 yeah so they went out on a fishing trip three of these three of these guys um, yeah, they were they were about ten miles offshore, so in deep in deep water fishing. Uh, moon third quarter, water temperature twenty three degrees, so pleasant. Yeah, and two of these two of these guys were fatally attacked, um, and one guy was injured. Uh, but we'll get into that. So yeah, these guys were on a fishing trip off Morton Island, so just off this island here. When their boat actually was struck by a, a large freighter ship. Um, because they, they, they were fishing in one of these like I don't even know if he's a seaworthy these sort of like cabin cruiser things so this is this small boat got absolutely caned by like a 20 25 ton Japanese freighter so it's like a big freighter ship carrying containers this was like on the Friday night and I mean the, this this container ship reckon they didn't see anything but when when they got into port they did have some hull damage but they they, they claim they, no one noticed anything but I mean it bit of a cover up there but they obviously just absolutely mullered this boat with these poor poor guys in, on side and they have, everything was just thrown into the water the boat you know was completely trashed so these guys went into the water you know on the friday night because they were fishing yeah right on this shipping lane so this shipping lane here is like the main channel it brings freighter in so this one was come from japan we had a load of tellies and stuff on it or whatever the japanese sell to the Australians, uh, not so, <laughs> so we're coming down here on this shipping lane. Uh, yeah, and their boat just got fucking torn in half by this massive freighter. And these guys went into the water, right? And, uh, and all, all they had, they couldn't find the life jackets, everything just went flying everywhere. So all, all they managed to find was this fucking blue cool box. <laughs> So these three guys, imagine this, you've just been thrown into the water uh, in the dark on a Friday evening and all, you, all you've got to cling on to is this, uh, this blue box. So yeah, so these guys, they, they clung onto this, uh, onto this blue box uh, and then they waited and they waited and they waited and they waited. So they were in the water Friday evening, they were in the water all day Saturday and then they were in the water all day Sunday, um, so they were 36 hours in the water and then at about half four on Sunday <laughs> the sharks uh, appeared <laughs> and uh, what happened was that they, so they were in the, in, the, in, the, in the water all that time and then suddenly just sharks started appearing and then the, the first shark that appeared uh, according to Harrison was a, was a massive great white like a 20 footer this is what he reckons he was the only survivor and he reckoned this, this shark just came up grab Victor and he managed to actually say good goodbye to his mates he said goodbye mates this is it and this is 20 foot 
Great White just grabbed him, pulled him out to sea, and they never saw him again. And then literally just there's some speculation whether the same shark came back I doubt you know you'd, but there'd be some fucking story if the same, same shark pulled him off um, not not literally and then came back and then the other guy John Hayes uh, so like the shark had already come along taken one guy and then another shark or, or the same shark came back and then grabbed the same the other guy John Hayes ripping his arm off and then pull it, pulling him uh, pulling, pulling him off the call box yeah and, 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 and uh, Harrison was sort of struggling to get back onto the uh, the ice box himself because he'd been he'd been uh, pulled back into the water and he, he managed to actually gouge, uh, gouge the shark's eyes and he said that he won't be back and then uh, he, he tried to put a, you know a tourniquet on his friend but then uh, the, the shark came back again and then grabbed him off the call box and fucking at him and then so it was just uh, Harrison left on the call box and then he must have fought he, but at this time like, Harrison had been injured as well boy uh, there was and then he reckons there was like smaller sharks as well uh, in the area like biting his feet and he was kicking them away kicking them away but at that point uh, 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 quarter to six in the evening a uh, charter boat actually spotted them uh, managed to pull him off the, off the ice box uh, in the channel dragged him on board and he he lived to tell the tale obviously so yeah crazy crazy tell i mean you fucking question whether this guy made this up but yeah that's what he reckons but anyway so he, he survived but um victor uh he victor beaver and john john hayes uh didn't survive they they were killed by great whites uh but this one guy um harrison managed to survive and it's just amazing how they were in the water for 36 hours nothing happened nothing happened they were in in the water for two nights and then all of a sudden it just goes to show you I me mean, you know you you can be adrift for a long time and not 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 have any activity but then suddenly yeah big shark spotted them took one of them out and then another shark came along took the other one out and then luckily yeah a few, few minutes later luckily the uh the last guy was pulled pulled to safety uh and he he survived to tell the tale yeah and then just going back to that freighter yeah apparently there was a bit of an inquest and yeah they they, they reckon they didn't uh they didn't log anything either they, their log book was empty but they should have really logged that they you know potentially caused a collision but they didn't so this is one of the reasons why these guys are in the water for so long uh, they, they didn't raise the alarm i think the rate the alarm was raised by somebody else next day when these guys didn't come back in and uh so yeah that's i mean you fucking it's a bit naughty really but there you go yeah so short one that one but still a good one but it's late as 